Chapman is just about to burst through the booth. I can't wait to do this. Well, and sitting with both of these teams and talking in the meetings and media day and all the hoopla that goes into this, there was one common theme. They're ready to stop the talking and start playing football. Yeah, they were probably ready a while ago. Now they can just focus on it. It's done. The only talking they have to worry about now is post-game, and they hope that they'll be talking as the winning team. And we'll see. You know both sides come into the game plan to start. We'll see how the adjustments are made throughout because there are always adjustments in this game. I want to see if they come out conservative, trying to minimize errors, or if they have enough confidence to attack early and try and take advantage of the other team's nervousness. Hang in there, Here's second Hang in and there seven now. now from the 28. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Throwing his wins. He's got Adams on the hookup. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Go, go. 120. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch the defense. This is a J. And he takes this up right near the 45 yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Wins to throw on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, it's wins. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. He sends this one away. Watch him now, Barney! Barney! Watch him now, Barney! Barney! And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense, and at times, will actually make checks, just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. 
They definitely ah. were on that one. Ah. How about that finish? Hold that to a minimum here. Now Joe Mixon. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Hey, hey, hey. Calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Three down, three down. Hot! Hot! Jackson from the shotgun. And Jeffrey's got it. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Thanks to that Watch last now, Barney, play, a little Barney. more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. Hot! Hot! Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to look deep down the field. And this throw will be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football. One, the trade expression, 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Sunday, Sunday! Now it's on the play. It's a J. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage. Back at the 43-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to have a third down. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. Hey, stack, stack. Shotgun now for Wentz. Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. A.J. Bouye, the fine quarterback, there to make the play defensively. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge Watch thank you. It didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. Gun, gun, but on that one, gun, gun. he looked like one of those guys. On second down, Jackson. Jordan Hicks coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Now, this is where field awareness comes into play. He's getting perilously close to his own goal line. And after that sack, backed up to his own two. After the sack, they'll come Barney, up now Barney. third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. On the run call here, they'll look to throw instead. He rifles one that's intercepted. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Eagles have recovered. A chance for the first score this Super Bowl. Let's go, let's go, Here's first and goal. <laughs> They'll toss it to a Jay. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. 
Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Four down, four down, check, four down, four down. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Come on now. All the right, Eagles on, on now. third down. Just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Four down, four down. The and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Gold is able to put it through. And the Eagles, they take a 3 nothing lead. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. Jarek McKinnon now to return. Oh, the spin. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback now, Barney, and know Barney. how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we ah. practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing <laughs> it to? Now, Barney, or maybe Barney. you have to be with him, but whatever's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Detroit! 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 Jackson now. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. And I it. And he's got the first down yardage before Not being taken down Not at Burt. midfield. Detroit! Detroit! A really good pickup of 28 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense. Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The Pro Bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. Second down, here's Mixon. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He lost two there, and it's third down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? Detroit! You want to Detroit! get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, 
We have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. On third down, Jackson. And this one is incomplete. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you have that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. 23 yards on the play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Shorty, shorty, shorty. On first down, wins. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but hey, running backs, empty. they can be a big empty. part of any passing offense nowadays. They run with a Johnny. And an alley to run. A big play there from a Johnny. 44 yards. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Hang in there now. So Hang after in the there big now. play, look at on this, the all the way down at the 15 right, now on right. first and 10. Right. Right, right. right back to him on first down. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. Lion, Lion! Go, go. Black, Black, come on. On second down, here's Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles had six to their lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying, we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive Watch where you had to punt away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and cut some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen. If something happens, we've got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Keep playing hard, fellas, all day. Woo! Let's get it. Jackson on second down, dumps it off to Mixon. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still, a lot of guys to account for. To throw on third down. Jackson. 
And that is incomplete. Ronald Darby that time, the one who got a hand in and knocked it free. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. 81, 81. 82, 82. Wentz now on first down. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. First is Wentz. Drops it off to Ajayi. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. To throw his wins. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back Come on now. and Come see on the now. ball Let's coming go. out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Wins the throw on third and one. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Time out, time out. 81, 81. On first and 10, here's Wentz. That is caught at the 7. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, when we talked about him, they yeah, did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Hey! Great 15, great 15. For Tokyo. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number let's go, one. Let's go, let's go. On second and goal, Ajayi, the lone man in the backfield. Working 82. He's going to get it running right, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. The Eagles on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and goal. Go, go! Hey, hey, hey. Working from the gun, Lance. And that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles add on to their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Gold now out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
Now this offense about ready to take over again. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot Marty, before Marty. the clock runs out. Final play of the Back first the half. Man, the go. penalty as they come up on first and ten. All right, now lucky 56. Lucky. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated. Ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. This is taken about seven yards deep. He spins free. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we you often have the three, feeling that yeah. there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, in halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they over, had something over, going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Jordan Hicks in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks Detroit! in the previous 52 Detroit! Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. There's Jackson on third and long, and he's going to go down again. I think we've seen this before. If someone's down three scores, that situation there... It's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted, and you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. First play of the drive. Excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll run it the toss. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Brought down by the cornerback, William Jackson. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. A.J. Bouye, the fine quarterback, there to make the play defensively. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. The Eagles on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. 81, 81. Wentz going to throw. 
try and run for this. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short game. And Gold is able to put it through. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see the offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Jordan Hicks in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Set! Blue From the gun, Jackson. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Thomas Jackson from the downhill throw. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. So after the INT, here's Wentz. That is caught at the seven. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. And what can they do here on second and goal? Three red zone trips so far have yielded two touchdowns and a field goal. Now wins. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Four down, four down, check, four down, four down. They get it to him running left, and he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. 
I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Throwing his wins. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Three